this is a screenshot of uh, Provis database. Uh, uh, we'll show how the, how the search is actually undertaken on the Provis database. So on the left hand side of the Provis screen, uh, we have an option to select the main product or the services of the company. So depending upon the activities of the tested party, which in this case was trading or distribution of electrical equipment, uh, we select uh, various uh, parameters. Uh, so uh, the arrow on the box which shows keyword uh, search, that is where you are supposed to type. And uh, the database gives all the company, all, all the industries which are classified under the relevant heads. Once we do this, uh, we select the command send to new OSC. Thereafter, what happens is all the companies which are classified under the uh, product heads which are selected by us get exported to a new worksheet. So these, these are the broad set of comparable companies uh, which we get based on the uh, product search. Uh, Thereafter, we go, uh, we select the, we go, go back to the query builder, which is the query menu, which is the main uh, screen of progress. And thereafter, we also uh, select just to broaden our search and to uh, ensure that we do not miss out on any potential comparable reason. Uh, we also select the uh, uh, comparables based on the name of the products. So in our case, it was uh, distribution of medical equipment or. Uh, medical systems. So these are the uh, keywords which we use and if the database suggests various uh, uh, the database suggests uh, various uh, parameters and we can select only the relevant ones. Thereafter uh, we use the command add to add to current OSC. So what it does is that the new company which are classified under this uh, step also get added to the list of companies which we had got uh, in step one. Then again, uh, we go to the uh, query builder. So, uh, as we had seen earlier, the first step was to do a key, uh, search based on the keywords just to select all the potential companies which are comparable to uh, the industry in which the tested party operates. Uh, thereafter, we apply various quantitative filters like uh, depending upon the ratio of, uh, or the level of operation of the company uh, or, or the number of years for which the data is available. So, uh, we select the tab of annual financial statements on the lower left hand side of the screen. Uh, this helps us to select the companies or specify the parameters uh, or rather it will give the output when we select uh, the year. It will give the latest year for which the uh, data for that company is available in the database. Uh, so in the screen which is appearing in the middle, uh, we select uh, various parameters which will be relevant, relevant to us like uh, sales. Uh, industrial sales uh, means manufacturing sales. So if you want to apply the filter of uh, let's say a ratio of uh, manufacturing sales to total sales, uh, we select the parameter of industrial sales. Uh, similarly, we can select the trading income of the company if you want to uh, apply the ratio of trading sales to total sales. And then we use the command add data to OSC. So what does this step do? This step for the company which was selected earlier, it reflects the data which we have uh, selected for uh, our analysis uh, and it, it is uh, displayed on the output sheet. Thereafter, uh, we can uh, export this, uh, this data into Excel to conduct our uh, uh, further analysis. So, the earlier step would only give that yes, for this company, our data, latest data is available only up to March 2008. But uh, to eliminate uh, those companies, uh, we export that data into Excel and then we can sort the data, slice and slice the data depending upon our requirements. Uh, to write a closer set of contributors. As we had seen earlier, uh, it's very important to uh, see if for any comparable, the entire activities are not uh, relevant for us and only a particular business segment is available. So to select the companies or the relevant business segments of the company, uh, we select the business segment by the information tab on the left hand side. 
to this and thereafter we select the segment sales. This command would give us all the companies out of that earlier set which have a segmental data. So although it may be classified in a particular industry, it still has a lot of uh, various segments. And on going through that, we may realize that yes, entire company's activities may not be comparable to our tested party and only the segmental data or a particular segment is comparable. Thereafter, we uh, export this data also into Excel and uh, save it. So, uh, as we had seen earlier, uh, in this case, case study, uh, since we are conducting the study for March 2013, we eliminate comparable companies for which data is available only up to March 2010, since we can use go back at the most two years. So, the current year, March 2013, and only two years, that is up to March 2011. Uh, turnover criteria, we uh, rejected companies having sales less than one crore. Uh, so all these filters uh, we can apply in Excel. Once we uh, export all the raw, raw data uh, into Excel, we can apply all these filters uh, in Excel. Uh, trading revenue criteria, since our tested party was engaged in uh, trading of medical equipment, uh, we only select companies having uh, trading sales to sales greater than 75%. Similarly, in our case, uh, the research and development activities were being conducted by the foreign company and uh, Indian, Indian entity was nowhere uh, engaged in R&D activities. Uh, therefore, we uh, reject all the companies having R&D uh, uh, ratio of R&D expenses uh, to sales greater than 1%. After having uh, done or uh, applied all these quantitative filters, we arrive at a more closer set of comparables. And as a next step, uh, we are supposed to do a qualitative screening. So as we uh, saw earlier, uh, there are various uh, sources for doing qualitative screening. The company's website, company's financial reports, the director's reports, uh, any other industry uh, data which you may get uh, using uh, Google. But this is the most important step uh, because uh, this is where you do the actual analysis. Or here you just do a raw analysis that yes, these are the parameters my company is having. So any any company which is not even closer, just eliminate it without uh, really going into its activities. But the activities of the comparable companies and all, uh, this is the step uh, where we anal actually analyze uh, the, all the potential comparables to select the final co companies which are finally comparable to so this slide just uh, gives uh, uh, that total total number of companies after having uh, industry filters uh, we got two to three six. Uh, we applied various filters and thereafter uh, uh, we got uh, two seventy eight companies for uh, uh, or rather uh, two eighty four companies for qualitative analysis, which is the second last step. So out of that 270 companies, we did an extensive search of the uh, director's report uh, websites and we determined that only out of those six companies uh, were comparable, the activities of six companies were comparable to that of the test market. This uh, step uh, just shows that how can we get the details of related party uh, data. Uh, on the database. Of course, we always have the financial statements of the company and there is no authentic, more authentic source than that. But definitely, this data source from financial statements. So we can use this uh, data also to undertake the RPD analysis. So uh, the details of RPD transaction of the company, uh, so it gives data for last four or five years and the same is available uh, under the uh, head ownership and governance report. Uh, definitely, in case a company is having significant <coughs> related party transaction in the earlier years, but not the years which we are uh, considering, we should select the same as comparison. Uh, similarly, uh, we can also view the segmental data on Provis database. Uh, this is also sourced from uh, the annual reports only. Uh, so we can use this data while conducting the uh, segmental analysis. Uh, it's
it's important to note that while we do a segmental analysis, we get the uh, segment sales and segment uh, profit. But there are items of uh, uh, income and expenditure which are uh, like unallocated expenditure. Similarly, when we do the profitability analysis and we work out the segmental data for the tested party, uh, we allocate a reasonable portion of uh, common expenses like uh, corporate overheads uh, to the A segment, that is the related party segment. Uh, similarly, uh, there would be items of unallocated income and expenses in the uh, financial statements or segmental data of the comparable companies which would be similar in nature, like corporate overheads and all. So it's important that we allocate a portion of that also based on the revenue of various segments. Uh, generally, even in the case of tested party, that's the key, allocation key, uh, which is used for allocation of common expenses. So after having allocated the common expenses, we work out the final uh, segmental uh, profit allocation. But if it is not possible to identify whether those common expenses are operating in nature or non-operating, then whether what is to be done, whether that comparison should be rejected or uh, No, uh, see because when we see uh, the total uh, PNL of the company and when we see the total uh, cost base, out of that even if we are able to identify that certain expenses are non-operating in nature, the proportion of that would be very small. And uh, having a, just because of that reason, we should not be rejecting a potential comparable unless the uh, margin is significantly different from that of the industry. Well, in some companies, financial expenses are huge and uh -huh. part of the financial expenses are the common and some other are also there. So yeah. then so to the extent uh, we can identify, but if uh, yes, on the analysis of uh, p and account, if we are able to make out that yes, uh, the uh, expenses, non-operating expenses are uh, uh, very high in proportion, then yes, we can... Uh, or, uh, we can also see that before the allocation of such common expenses, what is the margin working out to be? Let's say the, uh, uh, the tested party's uh, margin is, or of that of the all the other comparables is also in the range of five to six percent. And before allocation of such common expenses, also also the compare uh, the margin of that particular segment of that company is let's say two percent. Then we can uh, uh, eliminate or not consider uh, allocating uh, common expenses to the chain. So based on this, uh, we will be able to arrive at a final set of comparables uh, from the total database. Uh, let's proceed to uh, the search under the capital line database. So all the steps undertaken under the capital line search are also very similar. Only the outlook uh, of the database is different. Uh, this is the main screen of our uh, offline database and uh, the button which says S, that is the screen as, uh, that is the screen. That allows us to select sorry, uh, company and the various industries. So uh, on the bottom left hand side of the screen uh, it allows us to select the parameters which we want to use for filtering the data. So we will select industry as the parameter and thereafter we give all the uh, keywords which would be relevant for our search. Uh, which would, uh, uh, and thereafter uh, based on the search uh, or the keywords used, the database would uh, select various uh, industries and we can uh, select uh, the ones which are relevant for us. So when we, when we uh, use the word trading, it suggests uh, auto, auto ancillary trading or key trading. So we can only select the ones which are relevant to us. Uh, once we select the uh, uh, parameters relevant to us, on the right hand side, all the companies which are classified under that industry parameter uh, keeps on getting uh, added. Then after we uh, save this uh, here set for uh, further analysis, then we, are, then we apply the various filters like uh, the year filter, the financial uh, or the sales filter and all that. So for that purpose, uh, on the top left hand side, uh, uh, we select the tab uh, filters. Uh, uh, thereafter, uh, we select the uh, uh, 
background on the top left hand side and uh, select the company long name which gives us the table below and as we see in the next step uh, there will be a column which we uh, keep on getting added as we select more and more uh, let's say uh, as a next step we want to select uh, uh, the financial year for to so eliminate companies uh, where data is available only for up to prior to March 2011 uh, so then we select the tab uh, year end and on the right hand side we can specify our parameters so select uh, uh, a company only the financial data available is between March 2011 and March 2013 so when we uh, select those parameters on the right hand side and press enter it automatically gets uh, added on the table Selecting the sales criteria, let's say we want to select the sales between 1 crore to 100 crores. Uh, under the financial parameters on the left hand side, uh, when we select it, uh, we get uh, in the middle in the middle uh, frame, uh, we get uh, a tab which shows uh, sales. So once we build, select that tab, we can specify the uh, uh, turnover criteria which uh, is relevant to us on the right hand side. And again, uh, when we press enter, uh, the element uh, thing is getting selected. Uh, after having selected those criteria, similarly we can use other filters also like uh, uh, R&D expenses, uh, the ratio of R&D expenses to sales and all that. Uh, and then once we have selected all the filters, we, run, we use the uh, button run query. On running the query, uh, uh, the preliminary list of comparable companies uh, is generated. Uh, thereafter, uh, out of that companies, uh, as I said, uh, or uh, as, as we have done in the process search, we need to identify companies out of these which are having uh, segmental data to arrive at a closer comparability. So uh, we select uh, the tab segment finance in the uh, middle, and again uh, uh, select the button run play. Thereafter, it displays out of the earlier comparables, these are the companies for which uh, the segment data is available. So these are analyzed separately. So as we had seen earlier, uh, same, same uh, filters are used uh, in capital line search also, that eliminate companies for which data is available only up to March 10. Uh, turn on criteria select companies uh, having uh, sales less than one crore and uh, uh, only select companies who, whose ratio of IND expenses to sales is less than uh, one percent. And uh, uh, one thing is to be noted that this database search uh, it only allows us to arrive at a narrow set of comparables. So uh, let's say we, we uh, use a parameter for selecting turnover criteria would be 1 crore to 500 crores. And as I said earlier, if, if the client says, no, my industry is different, that uh, the large players uh, enjoy a lot of advantages with the economic scale, or if for XYZ reasons they are not comparable, definitely we can, even in the qualitative analysis, reject those uh, So uh, as a final step, uh, we once again come to the qualitative analysis of uh, comparable companies uh, selected under the capital line database. Uh, we do a detailed screening of uh, their activities, uh, the markets which they cater to, all that. And based on the comparability with the tested party, we select or reject the company. So after having uh, applied all those filters and uh, at the end of qualitative analysis, even for uh, the capital line search, we arrive at the site of five comparable companies. Even under the capital line database, uh, we, there is a possibility to view the details of related party transactions of the company. The same is available uh, on the main screen. So for that purpose, uh, we have to select a particular company. Uh, that is in the, uh, on the top, 
So we have for this particular example we mentioned Infosys. Uh, so when we select that company and uh, select the relevant uh, parameters from that uh, tabs on the left hand side. So there is a tab for related party transactions. Uh, when we select that related party transactions, all the related party transactions of that company uh, are visible to us. Similarly, uh, it's also possible to view the segmental data of companies in uh, Capital 9 database uh, under the finance section. So after all this analysis, we should be able to arrive at the final set of comparables for the distribution activities of uh, ABC India. And the last step would be the margin computation. <coughs> so, so far as possible for margin computation, we rely on the uh, financial statements, actual audited financial statements of the companies uh, because uh, sometimes uh, under databases it is possible that some expenses or income may be clubbed with uh, under a particular head, broad head which is uh, predefined in the database but then there may be separate details available in the actual uh, uh, notes to accounts. So if, uh, the financial statements of the company are more uh, authentic source uh, uh, for margin company. So we move on to uh, another case study for uh, conducting the database. Uh, so all the steps would be similar. Uh, so in this case study, uh, we have taken the case of an Indian company which is providing back office accounting and financial support to uh, its parent company. Parent company is engaged in <coughs> sorry. Parent company is engaged in uh, software development activities and it caters to uh, clients across the globe. But uh, the function relating to invoicing is supported by uh, the Indian company and it uh, deals uh, so upon receiving instructions from the uh, parent company, uh, the Indian company mm -hmm. generates the invoice, sends it to the clients. If they have any queries on this, they attend over the calls. So basically, uh, the Indian company uh, provides uh, back office uh, IPS support services uh, to the parent. So for this uh, comparable search, uh, we repeat the steps. Uh, as a step uh, one, in Provis database, we select the companies uh, which are uh, selected or uh, which are classified under a particular product. Uh, so maybe when we conduct the search for the first time on the databases, maybe we, we, we may have to screen through all the products and uh, services which are available. Uh, just to get a feel of uh, what are the various industries under uh, which uh, the companies are classified and which one would be relevant to us. And then when we keep on using the databases, we get a more hang of it uh, that yes, if we use this keyword search, uh, this is the result uh, which I'll get. So just to broaden the search, uh, we also uh, select uh, the companies based on the products in which they trade or manufacture. Uh, just this will ensure that no potential comparable is stressed out. So after having selected both the same steps, uh, we uh, export the data to a worksheet. Uh, thereafter, we again uh, go to the query builder, which is the main screen, uh, and uh, select various tabs, which will help us to apply the financial filters and the year filter on the. Uh, potential comparables which we are added with in the earlier earlier step. So as we see uh, once we select uh, the relevant uh, tabs for filtering the data like uh, industrial sales which is the manufacturing sales the year the trading uh, the uh, trading sales uh, those information get added to the uh, in different in addition columns against each of the companies. So, uh, let's say for the first company, if you want to uh, compute the ratio of industrial sales to total sales, uh, we, do, we divide the figures uh, uh, reflecting in column 3 by the number reflecting in column 1. So, all, this, all these steps we can do once we export this data into Excel. So, as I said, uh, we save this data into Excel for uh, further analysis. Again, uh, 
to ensure closer comparability and uh, to get, get uh, select uh, uh, the companies which are only for which only the relevant segments uh, would be uh, necessary to be identified. Uh, we select the uh, tab business segments on the left hand side, uh, which would uh, which would reflect that out of the earlier set, these are the companies which are having segmental data. So it is quite possible that a company may be having uh, a segmental data, but still it may be comparable at the whole company level. But there would be companies uh, where segmental data would be available and only a particular segment would be relevant to us. So all this analysis we do under, under, under the uh, qualitative screen, at the time of undertaking the qualitative screen. So again, uh, we save this set uh, in Excel. Uh, of course, when we save all this, uh, this forms part of our documentation requirement. All this goes into our TP study report. Uh, in the TP study report, uh, we describe step by step uh, how, do, how have we undertaken the search and uh, uh, annex all this to the TP study report. So, uh, have, having applied all these filters, we applied all these filters, uh, we are able to arrive at a closer comparable set under the service database. Uh, in this case, uh, since the company was into, uh, it is a services company, since it was providing ITES back office support services to the company, uh, so in case that the company is into manufacturing activities, we apply the filter, select only companies whose manufacturing sales is greater than a particular percentage. Uh, but in this, uh, both of these databases, there is no service uh, income filter. So we cannot directly select a company uh, to say that select only a company the uh, service income is greater as a proportion of total income is in excess of so much percentage. So we apply it in a reverse way to say that in case for a comparable company, the ratio of manufacturing sales to total sales or trading sales to total sales is greater than something, then they are not comparable to my activity, so uh, those companies are rejected. In the final step, uh, under the progress uh, screening, uh, we verify, uh, and this is the most important set, step, as I say again and again, because this is the actual qualitative screening of the comparable companies. The earlier steps are only to narrow down the search to the potential comparable companies, but these, these steps, analysis of all this information uh, would uh, help to finally determine whether a particular company is actually comparable, to, uh, its activities are actually comparable to that of the testing party. So uh, again, uh, after having uh, applied various filters, for the ITA segment and the progress, we come up with a, a broadly set of uh, four comparable companies. Uh, it is possible that out of four comparable companies, some would be companies for which only a particular segment would be available. Then of course, accordingly, we have to compute the margin only for that segment for that company. Again, uh, this uh, step just shows uh, how we can sort the details of related party data under the pros database. Uh, it's important to note that uh, under the Provost database, the related party transactions are given under the related parties classified under various heads like uh, transaction with holding company, associate company, key management personnel, subsidiary. So we should consider all of these, some of all of these transactions to de uh, uh, determine whether the related party transaction exceeds 25% which is the acceptable level of uh, uh, related party transaction. Uh, it's a very contentious issue. Ideally, we don't select that, but now with the advent of uh, specified domestic transaction, they require us to even benchmark the manager in remuneration. They also say that uh, there is a possibility that the same may also be influenced, uh, but generally, we don't exclude that uh, while computing the RPT <laughs> No, I think uh, the, we can uh, uh, not consider that. Uh, similarly, we get the data for uh, companies for which only are for.